So I wanted to start with actual decor pieces that are already together and I don't have to do anything to. We got this dish towel. Um, I wanted one for Christmas. I didn't have one for Christmas. And then we have these two clingies, which I really like this one. I actually don't like gnomes very much, but I like the play on words. Um, I love a good pun. So it says, going gnome for the holidays. Gnome, sweet gnome. I really like the gingerbread Christmas tree. So that's why I liked this one. Also, it's just a little bit unique compared to this one, which is just a little bit more of your average holiday thing so i had a plan originally i was going to put a wreath in the window don't make fun of the way i say that word <laughs> can't say it very well and people always love to remind me that uh my speech is not perfect especially with that word so <laughs> don't be mean um but i was going to put one in the window and one on the door and i'm going to make them and i have the starter for it and everything uh I was going to put one in the window in the kitchen and one at the door but I think I'm going to put the little one that I got in the window upstairs and put this in the kitchen window downstairs I'm not sure yet hopefully they cling sometimes these just don't want to cling so here are the starters this medium sized one is going to go on the door and then I think this is going to go upstairs in the upstairs center window because they're like little squares. Uh, and they come with two. And I think I'm only going to make one. I accidentally grabbed my mom's ring. I meant to just grab Zion. So I'll have to go to the store next week. Uh, but I bought these for the little one. So I have too many. Originally, all I saw was the larger ring. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to have extras of these, but you know what? That's a good thing. You can always use more Christmas bulbs. When it comes to making these, I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing offhand. I have a roundabout idea. So, for the larger one, I know that I want one of these to be in the center. Um, love these bows. They have the truck on it i just think these bows are really pretty uh and then this will also i'll take the pine cones off i got one with snow one without uh then we have this greenery that i could weave into there as well i bought these and i'm i mean i don't know if i'm gonna use them i might use these for the smaller one this one i'm not sure but We'll see, we'll see when I make them. I bought three of the garland, and like I said, originally all I could find was this, the bigger ring, and then I found the smaller ones in another aisle. So I thought I was gonna need the uh, bigger ring for both, both of them. But uh, I have this blue painting and another blue, they're prints of paintings, they're not actual paintings, but you get the idea. Another blue one, um, well, I have one over here, which is, that's my Starry Night canvas, and, uh, I have a blue nativity scene picture. So, I thought I could take the extra garland, because I'm assuming I'll have, like, one extra at least, and wrap it around the mantle, and I think that will tie in everything. This blue snowflake i thought this was so pretty and this is going to be the centerpiece for the smaller wreath then we have lots of red garland i only could find one without the gnomes all the other ones without the gnomes were gone but i'm just gonna like literally pop them right off what is it with gnomes for christmas time that's kind of odd right i don't know and that is for the bigger one so this is my holiday haul from Dollar Tree. I'm really excited to start my crafting. Uh, it should be pretty fun. I think it's going to come out well. We shall see. I haven't made one in a very long time. So we'll see. We'll see.
what have you picked up at Dollar Tree? Let me know for the holidays. Uh, is there any good holiday stuff near you? We recently moved and the Dollar Trees around here are a huge improvement, which is really nice.